Hi everyone, my name is Professor Dunn or Dr. Dunn. You can call me either of those things. And I will be your professor for History of Art 1. So in this video, I'm going to show you what Blackboard will look like and walk you through some of the things I've set up for you in Blackboard. So I have this on student preview, so it will look exactly like it looks when you go into the class. The first thing you'll see are the announcements, and these two announcements are already posted here, and I'll be sending them out also as an email, um, hopefully, today. And when I post an announcement here, I also will always send it out as an email, and the email will go to whatever your CUNY email is. So the office hours, you would click here, and it's a Zoom link. We have Zoom office hours, or I have Zoom office hours because this is an asynchronous class meaning we never meet in person um, either online or on or in person on campus so the office hours are not required for you to attend but they're there so that if you have a question if you have a problem or if you just want to say hi whatever it might be you can stop by the office hours they're every Tuesday from 9 30 to 12.30 starting next week, because technically classes start on Wednesday of this week. So those sit there for you always, and that link sits there for you. And it's also um, a couple other places I'll show you. And then this is just a welcome email or announcement, I should say, which will also be an email, which I'll be sending out later. And the next thing I wanna walk you through is the syllabus, and I refer to these as tabs. Uh, one other thing, if you ever come in and you can't find those, then you'll see a little arrow on the side here. If you click on that, it opens them up for you. So the syllabus. This will be here for the entire semester so that you can see it. Here again, I put down the office hours. This class uses open educational resources, meaning everything is free. There's no textbook for you to um, have to buy and I have various museums actually still here but I'm not going to um, require you to physically go to a museum those will all also be used only online because of the pandemic uh, so here are some books that you might um, want to look at and some sites that you might want to look at but everything is free i used to use a textbook and when the textbook got to be more than two hundred dollars for the class i said this is ridiculous i'm not going to make students pay an additional two hundred dollars for this class it's not fair so i as many of my colleagues at cuny have switched to be totally i guess you would say bookless um, and only use online sources. So you can read through the syllabus at your leisure. I'm just going to jump through it and point out some of the more uh, important elements of this that I really want you to understand. So the cor this course goes from prehistory to the Gothic period and it's divided up so that you see the required elements here. Uh, how am I grading you? So you have four tests, I'm sorry, this class has three tests, and each test is worth five points. Uh, and the tests are time tests, they'll be 90 minutes. You will have already gotten, before you take your test, information exactly what to study. Um, so if you do, by any chance, get like extended time or anything like that on the test, you need to let me know right away so I can arrange that for you. You'll be doing a museum exhibition project, which will be worth 15% of your grade, and I will be explaining that in my next video. You'll be doing a research paper, and by just telling me your topic of your research paper by the given assigned date, you get 100 on 5% of your grade. It's a giveaway for you. It helps your grade. You don't give it to me by the assigned date, and you don't get the 100. Then you have your research paper, that's due, um, sorry, that's 14% of your grade, your readings, and your qu quizzes. So each week, except not the first week, not this week, 
most weeks then. Um, you'll have reading to do and then you take a short quiz that is not timed and you have two times that you are allowed to try to take it. So if you mess up the first time, something happens with your computer, or if you get a really bad grade, you can do it again. And each of those is worth two points. Uh, and so you want to make sure you're doing them each week because they equal 36% of your grade. And then we have discussion boards. A discussion board every week, including this week, in fact, that's the only work you have this week, which is to to say hi to everyone. So we have an ongoing discussion board just introducing ourselves this week. So, as far as the tests go, there's no makeup for the three tests. So, the tests will open on a Sunday and it will close on a Saturday. You have an entire week to take it. You can take it at any time during that time period. Um, if you forget to take it during that week, you can't make it up. Uh, that said, if there's something that's happening the week you're supposed to take the test, then let me know right away and I'll work with you. Like last semester, I was actually very sick with COVID. I know a number of students who have had COVID. I'm, I'm, you know, I have sympathy for you. Yeah, I know family members get sick, people who lost their jobs. Like it's a crazy world that we're living in at the moment, but you have to let me know right away. You have to let me know that week. You can't let me know a month later. A month later, the answer will be no. Late papers and projects. I'll take them late, but they will be marked down 10 points for each week they are late, and I will only take them up till December 11th, which is technically the end of classes, and then the week after that is finals week. As far as quizzes, not tests, quizzes, your weekly quizzes. If you miss one or two, it's okay. You can make them up and you can make them up until December 11th. But remember, they're worth 36% of your grade. So you do not wanna wait until the end of the semester to try to do all of these quizzes. You will never be able to finish them. It, there, it's too much work to say, I'm gonna do them in a day or two. So you really have to try to stay on top of them throughout the semester. Then I, I'm sure you're all aware of the academic integrity policy and also that we don't plagiarize. So but this is here, you can read through it. And then we have each week I have written out for you. So week one, the only thing to complete really is the discussion board. I have some introductory videos and some uh, two little handouts I'll show you where they are and everything. Um, very straightforward. And then next week you'll have some quizzes and you'll have a discussion board and it goes on like that. But then when you have something bigger than just the quiz or the discussion board, I'm, I put it in here in red, in bold. So you'll see in week four, which I also have given you the date, September 12th to September 18th, you have your research paper or topic due. All right? And then two weeks from that, week six you have your first test okay. so it's all listed here it's listed other places for you as well which i'll be showing you contact information so here's my contact information here's my email address so if you need to email me i try to check my emails every day and get back to you sometimes i get a little behind so just be patient with me with that um, it really is best if you can just come to the office hours it's, it's the most direct way, um, but if it's the weekend and you need to know something, well, certainly then email me and I'll get back to you, okay? So these videos work much better if I make them in short little segments. So I'm gonna stop here, and the second video then will pick up with the assignments tab.